Hello and welcome back to the part 2 of the Mayflower from Amate. In this part we will work from step 5 to 10. That means we will install the bulwarks and railings and uh, whatever are the parts needed to finish the hull. And how we do this you will see in the following video. Okay, so for the next steps we need the 1x1, 1x2 and 1x4mm wooden strips to make the bulwarks and the railings. And we will start with the uh, this bulwark in the center because from there we have to go up and there has to be some roundings and some angles. So first we start with this one. And one more important thing, uh, the plant gives you already measurements, in this case it was uh, 70 millimeters long. It is always important to measure this actual on your model because in my case it's 71 millimeters so if you only check the plants you may well run short on mat material. So always take the measurements actual on the model. So you also will find out that the sidings are not straight from bow to the stern or even in this part in the center you see this. So we have to form this little part directly to the shape of the hull. Uh, hull. And this is very easy to do because it's a very soft wood. We don't need any steam for it or whatever. We can make this by hand. Very a slight bend and you see already that fits perfect, perfectly to the shape of the hull.
center bulwarks are now finished as you can see uh, nothing really complicated the next thing what we have to do is because it's connected with the center bulwark is this part of the bulwarks and how we do this we see in the following video okay so since the next part is made of uh, many parts uh, it i thought it was a little bit easier to make a little jig and i know if you can see it, it's ordinary uh, wood board uh, with a square bar and i put some double-sided tape and uh, i uh, stick this many times to my t-shirt so that the stickiness is not that uh, strong anymore it is as it is in original so that may will help to uh, align all the parts we needed for the next part uh, for the next step Okay, there's one last thing about the railing and the bulwarks. Uh, we have to take care during the construction and when we install it that the vertical columns at the, for the railings are only 5 mm in length and the bulwarks are 6 mm. So that means that the uh, railings are 1 mm lower than the bulwarks and that means that the handrail of the railings go under the handrail of the bulwarks.
last parts we want to install are the gratings on the bow, on the bow spread, and it has to be cut from this plastic piece, uh, what is much larger. Uh, it's easy to cut, um, nothing to be worried about, you don't need a saw, you can cut this also with a box knife or hobby knife, that's very soft. Only you have to watch out if you sand this with a rotary tool, uh, if the speed is too high it will melt the plastic, so set the speed of the rotary tool very, very low. And um, then we have to fit the uh, two plywood parts on the sidings. And the only thing what you have to care is that this uh, lower line has to be flush with the upper uh, edge of these uh, gratings. And you also have to check before you install this that the gratings are 1.5 to 2 millimeters inside the uh, edge of this uh, forecastle. That's the only thing, so that when you install the, the uh, plywood that it's flush with the outer hull. That's the only thing. So the very last parts I installed because I don't want to make the blocks excessive long. Uh, that's uh, this four pieces, two on each side, because they can easily be forgotten. And also the braces here inside the bow spread. For the rest, just enjoy the pictures and in the next part we will install the last details on the hull, means rubbing strakes, the ladders and uh, what else we need to uh, finish to, to finish the hull and also we will start to stain the wood and paint the parts. Stay tuned for that.